welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I thought I would show you how I film one of my self tapes. So today I've got a couple of self tapes to film, just singing ones. So yeah, I thought I would show you my setup and how I prepare to film a self tape. Now, I'm not sure how I feel about self-tapes yet. There's like pros and cons to both. There's pros and cons to self-tapes, there's pros and cons to in-person auditions. If I could pick, I would pick an in-person audition because you know you've been seen, whereas self-tapes you can send off, they don't always get looked at because sometimes they can get so many, whereas at least if you're in the room, you're being watched. So when filming self-tapes, I try and limit myself to two or three takes if possible, unless they go horrendously wrong, because I think if you start doing too many takes, then you just end up getting in this vicious circle and they're never perfect. I try and stick to two or three takes and then usually it's the first one that I go with, but yeah, if I do a couple, then at least I can listen to them back and pick which one I like the best. So yeah, let's get started with the self tapes for the day. Okay, so first thing I do is get up the sheet music on my laptop so I can figure out the cut that I want to use. This song, I need a 32 bar cut. So I found a point in here that I'm going to start from and then go to, and luckily with this one, there's no cut. So obviously with a self tape, you have to do it to a backing track. If there's no cuts in this one, which makes the backing track thing a lot easier. I'm just gonna go from one point all the way through to a 32 bar cut which makes this one nice and simple, thank gosh, but I think the other one might be a bit harder because I think I wanna make a few more cuts in the second song. But yeah, this is what I would do first. I'd find the sheet music if I don't already have a cut of it, decide on the cut, and then I'll get the backing track and cut the backing track to fit. You can see me in the screen of the computer, but I literally just use Final Cut just to edit my music for this sort of scenario. Like obviously if I was recording something, I'd do it upstairs on the Mac and do it with Logic. But just for this in this instance, I just pop the track in here and then I'll cut it and then save it as an MP3 and it's a lot easier than going upstairs and trying to do something that's simple and logic. That's how I edit the tracks. I'm going to get this one done and saved as an MP3 and then I'll quickly do the other one and chop it up and then we can get recording. So I've now set up ready to film. I'm ready. I just need to put a little bit more lipstick on. Um, I'm just wearing, literally wearing this blue top. The bottom half you can't see, so I haven't bothered with that, just leggings, so it's just so uncomfy. Um, so if you see my last video, you might have noticed that my hair is darker. I've decided to go all back dark. It was blonde, um, but I've decided to go all back dark because I feel like it is easier to maintain. It suits me a bit better, although I'm not sure whether this is a bit too dark, but um, I do still really like it, so yeah, I think it'll be good for castings and things, so I'm happy I went darker. So I'm ready to go. I will quickly show you the very, very simple setup for my self-tapes. Honestly, it's like one bit of equipment and a camera. Um, but yeah, I'll quickly show you that and show you what it looks like. So literally, this is the white wall that I use, and this is the ring light, and that is it. Just ring light and white wall and camera, which obviously I'm using right now. So yeah, that's literally it. And then I use my laptop to play the music and yeah, just sing to the camera. I do it in here in the dining room. We used to do it upstairs in our spare room where like our studio is, but now I do it down here because the sort of acoustics are a bit better in this room. It sounds a bit dead in the studio, so obviously when you're singing with a mic, it's fine because you put the reverb on there and all this sort of thing, put all the effects on there. But with just a self-tape, when it's just you singing to a camera, um, yeah, it's nice to have a little bit of acoustics in there as well, just to sort of give it that bit of extra oomph. That's literally my setup for my self-tape. Just a ring light, white wall, camera, laptop to play the backing track and go. So I'm gonna get them filmed now and then I'll show you how I edit them after. So I've finished filming the self tape, so I've popped it into Final Cut Pro so that I can edit it. Obviously it's just one take so it's quite easy, you don't have to chop up the footage too much. So I just chop off the beginning and the end just so it's literally just me singing so it has none of the sort of faffing around bit at the beginning. And then I add on this little sort of beginning so it's just my headshot and then my name and the song and what version I'm doing. And then I might put on there what the audition is for depending on if it needs it or not. Um, so I might put that underneath there, maybe put my agent on there if it needs that as well, to just kind of put a bit of information about yourself. Sometimes you might do an introduction, like my name's Alice and I'm singing blah blah blah, but I haven't done that on this occasion, I've literally just put this bit at the beginning, and then it goes straight into me singing, let me show you. So it'll literally fade out into me singing. And then 
I'll put that same beginning on the end as well just to finish it off nicely. This one's about 1 minute 11 because I asked for 32 bars so it's about 1 minute to 1 minute 15, 32 bars. But yeah that's it set like that and then I go on to the effects up here so the colour board and basically I brighten it. I use these little things here to brighten it, reduce saturation, shadows etc just to sort of make it a bit more vibrant but the voice is just how it comes out on the camera obviously I don't have a mic or anything on there so I can't play around with the voice so that is the self tape all filmed all edited and ready to send to my agent to approve before it's sent to casting so yeah that's basically how I do it like sometimes it takes ages because I just keep going over the song but they do always say try to limit yourself on the number of takes and then just pick out of one of those takes because you can be there all day otherwise if you keep going but i like to keep my self tapes quite plain and simple nice plain white background just literally use a ring light some people don't even have that luxury to have sort of a ring light and it's just a phone propped up somewhere which is absolutely fine like that's what self tapes are these days not everyone has like proper cameras and things like that some people like to use microphones and things but i think it's best to keep it as close to what it would sound like in an audition room obviously you can use microphones and then put like reverb on it and stuff but i personally prefer to keep it like i would sound in an audition room so yeah that's how i set up my self tapes how i film my self tapes i hope you enjoyed this short video let me know in the comments if there's any other things you want to see any other content that you'd like to see on my channel but thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and i hope to see you on my next video Bye bye